Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This is very chilled out. It's a Saturday afternoon and I've just put on some comfy clothes which I'm gonna show you in one second because the top is actually new and it's one of those hoodies that's lined with, you know the hoodies that are lined with like that fluffy material that's really warm? It's one of those and it's by, I'll show you now. It's by, as you can see, Saleron. And what I like is that that logo is actually quite discreet. You, you have to actually look for it to see it, but um, no, so I, I got it big just because I loved how it looked and when it turned up, I had to put it on it because it's freezing at the moment. Anyway, I've got some new items that I bought with discount codes and the first discount code I'm gonna tell you about, I think is ended already because I have a feeling that it was a Valentine's code and it, I'll put all of the codes below. The first code, that one that I think's expired, I actually used it for this top and for some shoes I'm going to show you, but the code didn't work on these two items, but it worked on other items. And then stuff that I bought from Farfetch, I used a different coupon code and the coupon code worked on everything. So yes, so the first thing is this top, which it is a hoodie, it's got a hood on the back of it, it's got pockets in the front. I'm just wearing it with a pair of black trousers. These are actually from Reese. I'll back up and show you proper, properly in a bit because I want to show you the shoes, which don't necessarily go with this outfit, but I'm just gonna try them on with this outfit anyway, just to show you. So here is the next thing, and it's a pair of shoes. They are from Gucci. They're a pair of shoes that have been on my wish list for about a year, and I decided box down um i decided to when i saw this i thought i'm just gonna get those shoes at the same time because i have been looking at them for so long and they are these for coming closer and i don't tend to wear heels all that often i normally wear flats and uh sneakers but the heel is not huge and when these turned up i wore them around the house on carpet kind of thing just to see how i got on with them and yeah they're very comfortable but also I like how you've got this kind of squarish toe on the end and then this sling back and I will link to these below and these weren't as designer shoes go these weren't kind of like really break the bank to be honest they were they're not cheap I'm not going to be like oh they're only 50 pounds that you know they were a lot but when you look at some shoes that are six seven hundred pounds they weren't that kind of money so I'll link to those below and then from Farfetch I bought a few things from there using the coupon code that I'll put in here actually. So the other coupon code I mentioned I think's expired. This one I'm showing you here expires at the end of February and it's a coupon code that Farfetch actually gave me and it gets you a discount on the majority of stuff on the website. Although I would say there are brands that are excluded, but they're the kind of brands that you would expect to be excluded. They're Gucci and Fendi and brands such as that. So I would always say, go and add as much stuff as you can to your shopping cart, try that coupon code and see what it works on and it will tell you. But I bought this, this is another sweater. And as you can see, it's by Isabelle Morant and I quite like it because of the neckline on it. It's got like a funnel kind of neckline. And you can get this in different colors. This is kind of a, it's creamy white, but it's got bits of gray running through it. As you can see there. The next is in this wrapping and it's, it's like this because I've already unwrapped it. And it's wrapped up differently because when you buy from Farfetch, their stuff comes from different boutiques around the world. So a lot of the time when you order things, they come really nicely wrapped because it's all different boutiques that do it. But this is something I'm disappointed in. Let me show you. So it's a really nice pair of tailored trousers. Oh, let me move that. It's a really nice pair of tailored trousers from Vivian Westwood. They are navy blue, but what's so disappointing, and it's so well made, like look at the inside, the way it's got all of this nice lining. But what's disappointing is that I bought them and they are too big and they don't have a smaller size. They do have one that's two sizes too small, but I think that's gonna be too small. I think I just need one size down. But these, I really wanted them to work. 
and they just don't. So I would say, I kind of do think they are true to size. So I'll link to these below as well. I'm not even gonna try these on because they're so big, I'm not gonna make them look nice. But I'll put in a picture here of what they actually look like. And I would say that they are true to size. The reason why I got a larger size is because I've been working out my legs recently, like a lot, and I'm, I'm developing quite a lot of leg muscle on the front. And I've noticed that a lot of my trousers are starting to feel quite tight now from it. And so that's why I thought, oh, I'll get the next size up so that they're, they're not really skin tight on the leg. But yeah, it's too big. And these are really nice because they have this gold plaque here. This is not removable. I would imagine these are dry clean only because of that. Then I have two bags. And I, one of them, I already know it's gonna be good. This one, I kind of knew it was going to be good. I just need to double check that my phone fits in it because I'm looking at it and it's quite small. But it is this from, let me move all of this back. This is from Versace. And it, you can get this in different colours, actually. But let's take this and see what the handle looks like. The handle looks like that. It's kind of quite chunky chain detail. It's black leather. And I wanted to have a look at this because I showed you a couple of videos ago. There were two Versace bags that I showed you. Both had real lady dior vibes to them again i will link to these below i think the black and white ones sold out pretty quickly but i think the all black one's still there but i liked the quality of it and you know i think that um versace must have done something because about a year ago i bought one of their bags and i actually returned it because the it was i don't it was leather but it didn't feel like leather it felt like plastic and I returned it because I thought, oh, that quality is not there. But I feel like they've done something because their quality's got better. And I know I'm not the only one that thinks that because I actually had one of you on that video where I showed that bag saying to me, oh, I've tried Versace before and their quality's shocking. And I was like, yeah, it, it used to be. And I can only speak for the bags that I have purchased and reviewed. But so far, I think that their leather quality has got a lot better. And this has got a nice grain texture to it. It's very buttery soft. Let's have a look on the inside. It does come with a crossbody strap, which is removable. So if you wanted to just use this as a top handle, you can. And that had the discount on it as well, which is another reason why I thought, you know, Again, I've had this on my wish list for a long time and I thought I'm going to get it, see what I think of it. If I don't like it, I can always return it. But I think that's I think that's really nice, actually. And then the final bag. And this is the one that I said I already knew I'd like know that this is good because I've shown a version of this bag before in a pistachio green. This is the I think it's called Gin Tea from memory. I've just remembered that I could be really wrong. But it's a bag by Off-White. Off-White is a brand that I love. I love their clothing. I love their bags. I like the sportiness of a lot of their stuff, the edginess of a lot of their stuff. And uh, some of their bags, ooh, some of their bags do have slogans written on them, like cash inside. My wages are in this bag, literally, it, writ, like written on the front. And I don't like those, but I do like the plain version of it. And you know, as bags go, these bags are not break the bank. And I thought for any of you who like the Lorna Traviata bag, but that's too much money for you, take a look at this. It's basically very, very similar to the Lorna bag. Similar size, could even be the same size. The leather looks the same, actually. It does look the same. To open these bags, you twist this and then it pops open. So that's quite nice as well, that it feels quite secure. You can uh, do that. This also has a pocket on the back, as well as a removable crossbody strap, exactly like the Lorna Traviata. So that bag also has a removable crossbody strap. But if you like the shape, but it feels a bit too grown up for you, go and have a look at some of the other versions of this bag, because it does come in more fun colours. It does, does come with slogans on it and you might actually love the slogans. That might be really your style. So go and check it out. Go and have a look. And um, as I say, I will link to these items below. There we go. They are the things that I just... 
thought I would show you uh, that have turned up this week and I, was, I wasn't gonna film it. And then I thought, well, why not? Might as well film it because some of you might be interested. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that it's just been very chilled, hanging out. That's what I wanted it to be. Thank you as always for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.